Hello and welcome to the new series of Drishti IAS. I am Pooja Devi and in this segment today we are going to discuss about Delta plus variant and the effects of vaccines. Now this topic is important from the perspective of prelims and also from the perspective of GS mains papers. So let's begin with the first topic why is it in the news. The World Health Organization on Monday raised another alarm on the fast spreading highly infectious Delta variant of COVID-19 saying that some signs of reduced efficacy of covid vaccine can be seen against this variant and seeing some reduced efficacy of the variant vaccine against delta coronavirus variant but they still are effective at preventing severity of the disease and death the who official added that in the future there might be a constellation of mutations recently jharkhand has reported seven mutations in covid-19 virus which means vaccines are likely to lose their potency against fighting the coronavirus okay so we shall analyze this in detail what is delta plus variant we need to understand this variant was first seen in europe in march this year it was however brought into the public domain only on june the 13th now according to scientists the delta variant that is b16172 has further mutated to form the delta plus ay1 variant now it is very interesting how variants form we will talk about that also virologists are looking to find out if this new variant may be able to evade or bypass pre-existing immunity better than either delta or beta that is not known yet and based on what is known so far delta plus is considered highly infectious one potential risk that has sparked an ease among the medical communities that the new variant may be able to bypass immunity provided by both vaccine and earlier infection delta plus has the mutation called k417n first found in the beta variant of south africa and this coupled with the fact that it also possesses all the other features of its predecessor delta might make the latest version a lot more transmissible some scientists seem to think the k417n mutation is within the receptor binding domain of the spike protein and this change is noteworthy because this mutation is also found in the b1351 or beta variant of the concern now if we talk about why are they mutating so much they are mutating because they are replicating so fast they are replicating because they have the presence of host or the human population in bulk and we are very much interactive especially now in a globalized world we are very much in contact we cannot always look down towards lockdown what can we do is to follow covid appropriate behavior so that replication is stopped they are not the viruses do not have enough host to replicate among themselves that is the entire problem why do replications happen see the virus in order to keep on upgrading itself it replicates itself and it makes several mistakes while it replicates itself and that causes variation in the structure of the virus that is why a new variant is emerging every now and then now all these variants may be better than the last variant or they may be weaker than the last variant that is not known yet as of today if we talk about delta plus so we are just here what who wants to say and the scientists want to say and is that as of yet we do not have much information about how this variant might cause a concern we need to be very aware and brace ourselves for the anonymous that is it so if we talk about variants of concern b117 it was first recorded in september 2020 this first detection was done in uk and there were key mutations in the spike protein and that is why they were able to cause reinfection because antibodies did not recognize their spike protein that is why the infection happened and B1351 it was first recorded in October 2020 in South Africa. P1 recorded in December 2020 in Brazil. B1617 of course the surge in India was caused due to this highly infectious mutant double mutant. It was recorded in October 2020. So as you can see every mutation caused a surge because our antibodies and gene infection also that is why happened because our, our antibodies were not able to recognize the spike po- proteins that were in variation to the last virus that infected the body and so this is the these are the cause of concern variants the prevalence of this new variant is still low in india if we talk about the delta plus delta remains the dominant variant in the country as of now and apart from maharashtra 
the other states reportedly seeing delta plus cases include tamil nadu punjab madhya pradesh so far and the delta plus is not yet classified as the variant of concern but we are still bracing ourselves and it is just a variant of interest right now moving on there is no certainty and the current low number is no indication of any trend even if we talk about the delta variant b1617 and the variant at the heart of india's devastating second wave this has been it had been found in very low numbers just ahead of the surge before reaching epic transmissibility levels over the next two and a half months we all saw that if we talk about the efficacy of available medication as of yet vaccines yes they are not 100% effective no vaccine will be 100% effective because this is a virus virus always changes themselves evolutionary biology suggests that and that is why 100% efficacy can never be expected but yes these vaccines are of course showing efficiency when it comes about the severity of the disease it does not provide you a shield against infection but it provides you a shield against hospitalization and the severity that is the thing now if we talk about monoclonal antibody cocktail this treatment is something that is being looked at in india for a possible treatment for mild and even severe cases but there are certain problems because against if we talk about monoclonal antibodies what are these first we need to understand what are monoclonal antibodies so if we talk about it then recently if we follow the trend the apollo hospital in delhi it had started an on antibody cocktail treatment and now it is being moved forward by cipla companies such as cipla and the cost is rupees 60000 per dose for covid 19 patients so who have mild symptoms with comorbidities such patients are under the umbrella of this particular treatment and what are monoclonal antibodies they are artificially created antibodies that aim to aid the body's natural immune system they target a specific antigen which is a protein from the pathogen that induces immune response and if we know how they are created monoclonal antibodies can be created in the lab by exposing the white blood cells to the infection and in the case of covid-19 scientists usually work with the spike protein of sars-cov-2 virus which facilitates the entry of the virus into the host cell so to increase the quantity of antibodies produced a single white blood cell is cloned which is turn is used to create identical copies of the antibody and then in a healthy body the immune system is able to create the antibody tiny y shaped proteins in our blood that recognize microbial enemies and bind to them signaling the immune system to launch an attack on the pathogen and however for people whose immune systems are unable to make sufficient amount of antibody scientists provide a helping hand using monoclonal antibody now if you think about vaccines why will vaccines lose their efficacy first vaccines have efficiency when they are available to the public at large when the mutation is not so ever changing the variation is not so fast the problem is we are not getting vaccines at a faster pace than we should do it our vaccination efficiency will depend on the number of people vaccinated around the world because none of us are safe until and unless all of us are safe we need to keep in mind certain things that first covid appropriate behavior should be followed because in order to provide the survival chances to a virus what is needed a human host is needed we are the human host the virus uses us to live to sustain itself we infect ourselves and then we infect others in this manner every now and then the virus is mutating because it is of course copying itself and because it is copying itself it is making mistakes and that is why it is being able to see a lot you know produce so many variants if everybody is vaccinated or at best because nothing is known as of yet the long term effects and efficiency of vaccine is also not known yet so covid appropriate behavior is the best thing that we can do please understand we must wear masks we must follow the 6 feet physical distancing rule we must sanitize and wash our hands whenever we touch something so along with vaccination this is the first the best chance for us to stop the replication then in case a third wave emerges 
infrastructural revamp and robustness is needed because of course everybody around the globe watched the horrendous atrocities which were actually inflicted by upon the human population around the globe and in india by this virus lack of oxygen beds lack of uh, proper medical facilities were the causes of death but it's a long term strategy where along with short term strategy it's a long term strategy so i hope you understood whatever i tried to make you understand here that's it for today tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment until then stay updated and thank you so much for watching